We're trying to document the martyrs, the people we lost in the revolution. It first started with them saying on the news, like, today we've lost 20 Syrians, 30 Syrians, 500 Syrians and so on. And that's it, numbers basically. We wanted to do a bit more, they're not numbers, they're humans, they're people really, just like you and I. We've tried to collect a few of the faces, we've done faces from different phases of our revolution. Just to, you know, tell a story here, those people were here and they got killed for going to the bakery, for going to school, for doing nothing at all, for going out to demonstrations, you know, asking for their freedom and they're gone, we're here, nobody knows their names, nobody knows their faces, that's where we came. Whenever you get a chance to spray those nice stencils, anyway, you'll just spray it, somebody will come and hide yeah, it, no, cover no, it, no. or even worse, you might get shot uh, on the spot really, like one of the guys, the third guy up there on top, we call him the spray man, he was shot while spraying and he designed a few stencils for his friends, he designed lots of the calligraphy that goes with the stencils and he was just shot doing it. It's Syria, you can't just go out and say what you want to say, you're not allowed to, it's, it's, that's why the revolution is still there. Uh, freedom of speech is not a thing that we dream of, so once the revolution started, we tried to say that. We went out in demonstrations, in demonstrations, they shot us, so we had still to say something. So we started writing on the walls. Freedom, that's, that's the key word for the whole revolution thing. That's the first demonstration. People want their freedom. That's it. And whenever you go now, anyway, in the, in the streets in Damascus, the urban streets, uh, outside Damascus, the other cities, the cities are the control of the regime. That's what you'll find on every wall. Faces of the people that are gone are demands freedom, dignity. It's a high security zone now, so there are checkpoints everywhere, so you have to sneak your tools in. You can't just, you know, paint a face on the wall, you have to have a stencil for it. So they, they started coming up with those amazing ideas of uh, tools. They'll use, they'll conceal a stencil made of news, uh, out of newspaper, within a newspaper, spread on the wall, dump it and run. They'll use x-ray sheets, uh, those are the easiest material to cut really, and they're easy to fold or wrap, and also to conceal in other documents, so also they'll use that. Uh, paper banks, shopping banks, really. they'll, they'll cut the bottom of it, stencils. Uh, that's it, they don't always use sprays, they could use any other materials, a, a, a shoe polish, a uh, you know, school uh, colours, anything really. That's the other stuff we're trying to show just to uh, tell people how it's done. It, it's not exactly sophisticated, they don't get their time drawing on fancy materials. It's a newspaper, it's, it's a paper bank. You walk in the street now in England, anywhere in Europe really, anywhere in the world, they think there's a conflict going on, there's a, a, a sort of a dispute, a civil war even, they, no, nobody knows what's happening. Mm. Nobody knows the real story. It's, it's as simple as people demanding their rights. What happened when they did? They got shot. Nobody knew their names. I want people to come in here, realize those faces. They used to be there. Uh, they were tortured to death. They were sh shot on the spot. There are children amongst those guys. They were just killed for no real reason. I'm going to have their names here. I'm going to try to have a brief story about them. They need to be acknowledged. Those people dying every day, dying now as we speak, they need to be acknowledged. They're not numbers, they're humans.